Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again and in my last video I showed you how you can easily use Warner Studios to give yourself a 3D avatar companion using their in video motion capturing system, uh, whatever. However, in this video, I only showed you how to use those pre-made avatars. Maybe they are enough for you, but most likely you want to have a custom character. And fortunately enough, you can upload your custom character to Wonder Studios. However, they make it seem very complicated to upload these characters and it's really not. So let me give you a quick rundown on how to upload your custom character to Wonder Studios for it to be able to be used in your animations or in your tracking. First of all, get your character that you want to have. And the only thing that is really important is that this character is in a T pose. It has to be a T pose. In my case, I just threw a Ready Player Me character into Mixamo, downloaded this rig because this plugin that you need to download from Wonder Studios automatically detects a couple of armature rigs. And Mixamo is one of the ones that is supported. So upload your character, auto rig it, then download it in a T pose. Bring it back to Blender. I quickly have to readjust the materials. And then with the installed add on from Wonder Dynamics, Wonder Studios, you have to jump through some hoops. But it's really not as daunting as it seems. Basically, you have two sections. One of them is for the body movement in general and the second one is for facial expressions and facial rigs. Let's focus on the body itself. Once you click this button over here, it will prompt you to kind of retarget every bone individually. If you're using a supported amateur, which Mixamo is, you can just click on auto bind and most of the time it will be fine. It did work for me with Mixamo and character creator rigs as well. The second tool is if you want to uh, map the facial expressions, then you have to jump through some more hoops. I didn't do this, but it's, uh, it's cool to know that you can. Once this is done, you can validate your character and this validation is necessary. So validate your character and most likely it will tell you that it needs some cleanup to do and it will tell you what to do. However, in most cases, you can just click on auto cleanup and it will do those things for you. If you did everything right and there is no error, maybe there's a warning or something, but you can ignore them if you want to. If there is no error and if there is an error, it will clearly tell you what to do. You're good to go. Once you validated it, then this plugin saves an additional location and an additional blend file for you. Here it is important to know that the textures that you are using for your character are within the same folder of where your blend file is or else the plugin will have a problem. So this newly created folder next to where you saved your original blend file, all of what is in there needs to be uploaded to Wonder Studios uh, and their character uploader. So there is a blend file in it, there is a texture file in it, there's a JSON file in it. All of those things need to be uploaded to Wonder Studios. Now with all of your files ready, you can upload it to Wonder Studios right over here and it will take some time to validate your character and then it will tell you if it's good or not. If it's not, well then retrace some of the steps. It's most likely not going to tell you uh, what you did wrong. So just try and see if your error messages give any more indication on what you need to adjust. If you did it correctly, then you can go through all of the standard steps that we did in the last video to create your own little avatar and motion track it, track it in general into your footage. Right now you see that I am using the same footage as last time and I'm defaulting in exporting a blender scene. This again takes 30 to 45 minutes usually for this amount of clip or the length of this clip and I'll just keep you posted when it is done. Just kidding, I'm, I'm recording this after the fact. So it's already done here. This is the final result. As you can see, uh, it's not great. And I think I can contribute this to me using like a telephoto lens. So it's a bit confused on how, uh, on what the angle is or like what's the focal length of this is. So you might have better luck with uh, a different footage that I didn't bother recording at this point in time. However, I can download the blend file and then do some minor adjustments in Blender if you think that you can yield better results than one of Dynamic Studios. However, you see that the character that you created uh, is the avatar that you are using right now in your Wonder Dynamics project. So this is in brief summary, 
the process of how to use your Wanda Dynamics character for uh, your 3D character for Wanda Dynamics. If you have any problems, any troubles, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in, now that I've played around with Unreal Engine motion design, if you're interested in more motion design tutorials from Unreal Engine, <laughs> or if I should keep uh, adding other forms of motion tracking in the future, just let me know, open up a conversation. Until that time, uh, I'm going to plug my things again, right? My Patreon, like and subscribe and all of this and see you guys in the next video.